Hey everybody, how are you? Hola gente, ¿qué tal? Ok, este diseño es otro diseño del tema de um, This is the Tooth Fairy theme De la de los dientes eh, It's all about awareness To how to, you know, treat well your teeth And take care of them So don't bite your balloons with your teeth Ok, let's do this um, This is a dentor If that makes sense, teeth So that's what we're going to make And thanks to a subscriber He shared with me uh, a tutorial and I thought mm, thank you so much for sharing a tutorial with me so um but then I was thinking you know I like to make things sometimes my own way so this is the way I made it with no using round balloons only skinny balloons and I think it's it's I don't know it's easy for me what do you think I think it's really cool you know people can be able to open if you want but it's not like that the main thing about this design the main thing about this design is just keep it like this you know, you're not gonna, if you wanna open, well, you make sure you grab these two sixties from this side and open it and say, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> so, because if you grab this, it's gonna come out, unless you glue it. But we are not glue it. This is not glue, it's just balloons. Ha, 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 ha. So let's do this. Cool thing about this design. How many balloons you see? Three colors. Well, you're gonna need three, four balloons, actually. Four balloons because the 160 wide is two. Yeah, because this technique for teeth, we're gonna make one by one, and that's gonna be lots of pinch twist, but in a kind of easy way, I think. This is an easy way. I'm gonna show you. Let's start with a 260 bubblegum pink, inflated nine finger tail. So what I start doing was this, a pinch twist, lock that pinch twist, and then another pinch twist. Okay, so let's make two pinch twists. Then you're gonna go with a three finger bubble or four, you decide how big you want that part. So let's make like approximately no more than four finger bubble. And then you're gonna make, let's see, two pinch twists. So, so far, very easy easy, right? You can do this, of course you can. So from here, you're gonna measure um, approximately, let's see, like three finger bubble, yeah, three finger bubble. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, you see, two pinch twists, two pinch twists. Okay, now we're gonna go back. I think that's gonna be easier. Go back with another three finger bubble. Yep. Oh, almost, I forgot this. I just made it, so <laughs> it's gonna be new for me too. So let's do this. So you have two pinch twists, two pinch twists, and also two bubbles here for three finger bubble each. Now you're gonna go up with a three finger bubble. And then you're gonna make again two pinch twists. Yep, two pinch twists. Okay. And then from here, you're gonna measure again three or four finger bubble, no more. Okay. And then you're gonna make two pinch twists. And we're gonna close this, making another no more than four finger bubble, and put it back to the pinch twist. So what you have here is the letter. <laughs> The letter C, kind of, yeah. <laughs> the letter C. C for Cecilia. Well, oh my goodness. Well, it's okay. Leave it there. Pick two. So you have to wrap it and secure it. It's okay. We're, we're taking the risk. I'm taking the risk. So you have this. Look how the pinch twists here are. Okay? And look how the pinch twists in the front are. Hmm. Interesting, right? Now, what else here? Well, now we can start making, for example, the, the teeth. We can do that. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's make the teeth. I'm gonna quickly count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight teeth on the top part. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And eight teeth on the bottom. So, boop, yeah, eight, eight, okay? So you're gonna need, for each side, one balloon 160, inflating halfway. That means like to a finger tail. And then from there, you are going to attach it into, look at the letter C, kind of, right? You wanna attach it into this part, not to this pinch twist, here. Well, yeah, uh-huh, here. <laughs> and you twist it in one of the pinch twist, and now pay attention, this is what we're gonna do, and it's not hard. Why I leave a lot of tail? Because we're gonna squish a lot, squish a lot. So we're gonna start squishing the balloon, this is just maybe a little bubble there, but a squish the balloon. Then you're gonna make a very squishable two-finger bubble, and you're gonna twist it. 
I mean pinch twist, right? That's what it is, one teeth, one tooth. Now, we squish the balloon again. I squish and twist. So I have this type of line here, you see? This type of thing, I'm gonna show you again. And that part is good. That's gonna help to your teeth don't go all one on top of the other one and crazy. And then you're gonna now make a two finger bubble, soft and pinch twist. Now, look how I'm using my chest. I use my chest a lot because that is like a table when I don't have a table. And also because um, it's practical, right? It's not like twist, I only use fingers, no. I am squishing again the balloon. I'm gonna show you again, look how what I have there. I squish the air, take the air, you know, and then make another two finger bubble, approximately, and now we're gonna make pinch twist. So, then you're gonna keep going. We just have three here, but we have to keep going. So I'm gonna make this one I'm talking to you about, because what I'm doing is the same thing, repeating and repeating. And the thing is you can make it faster, yeah. Let's just keep going, keep going, keep making eight, and then you can accommodate it. But the idea is now we know there are eight there, so that's what I'm doing a straight eight of those pinch twists. Don't forget that trick, it's very important. You can squish the other air, the balloon, make the bubble, pinch twist, and then again squish here, and blah blah blah. You know, okay. So I need a lot of bubbles, um, a lot of teeth for rain. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, you know, I made a nine. <laughs> no, it's eight. So I'm twisting one. Maybe I, I should not talk. <laughs> so when you have the eight around, you just attach it to, to a pinch twist. Go back to those pinch twists. Yes, the pink bubblegum pinch twist. So you see what I did here? I will not have enough probably for the next, the bottom thing. So you gotta cut. Save this for maybe another design, but this one you will not need. Now, you can, you don't have to tie the balloon there. You can just wrap it around and that's gonna be good enough. Now, accommodate the teeth. And this is something I noticed that it was a good idea. Grab one of the pinch twists. Look, grab two of the teeth, the front teeth. Grab one of the pink pinch twists uh, and then twist it together. That way, it's all locked. Don't you think that's really cool? <laughs> I think this is awesome. I think this is awesome and it's a very cool way to make dentor or teeth. Or how do you pronounce that? Dentor. Dentadura. <laughs> Dentadura, eso le decimos en español, ¿no es cierto? Eso es lo que estoy haciendo en caso no te haya dado cuenta. Ok, entonces miren cómo tenemos esto. Vamos a hacer lo mismo aquí abajito. Vamos a hacerlo. Ya, yeah. no nos ha tomado tanto tiempo. No. Mira, la mitad, inflas, 12 dedos de, sin inflar, lo voy a decir en español, en, en español, sí, en castellano, I'm gonna say in Spanish. So, now, here, miren acá, es, corro, 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 corro el aire, al comienzo, miren, corro el aire, y luego voy a hacer una burbuja de dos dedos, suavecita, y la vamos a hacer peñizco, ¿ok? Peñizco, y luego vamos a escurrir otra vez el aire, suavecito, corremos el aire, ¿cómo? Así, de correr el aire significa esto. No, no, no quieres globo inflado, quieres desinflado, así corre un poquito y luego vas a hacer dos, burbujitos, dos dedos de burbuja y vas a hacerle peñisco. Vas a seguir escurriendo el aire, o sea, mira, doy vueltas y empujo el aire para allá. Eso se llama escurrir el aire, mira cómo tengo esto así. Y, y tengo como un dedo ahí y separo para que pueda hacer una burbuja de dos dedos y le hago peñisco. Y así lo vamos a hacer ocho veces. ¿Qué te parece, ah? A mí me parece que este diseño está súper chévere. Vamos a seguir haciéndolo. Una burbuja de dos dedos, listo. Y mientras haces eso, si lo vas a hacer en frente de gente, siempre puedes reírte y hablar y conversar acerca de cualquier cosa que se te ocurra. Como a mí, ahora en estos momentos, mira, no tienes que ver el globo y puedes seguir haciendo lo que tú y yo estás haciendo hace rato, ¿no? Es correr el aire, el peñico, correr el aire, el peñico. Pero eso sí, si puedes contar que no te pasen de nueve, ocho, ¿no? Son ocho de esos dientecitos. Entonces ahora yo, pues calculo, que ya los hice. Uh, ten cuidado que se te vayan a esas, a desencrustar. No sé si se te vayan a desencrustar. Ok, voy a contar. Uno, dos, tres, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Perfecto. No importa que se vea todo así desenreda, enredado, que digas no tiene sentido. Si sí lo va a tener, solamente ten paciencia y, um, y sigue haciéndolo. Si quieres, puedes ir haciendo uno por uno en orden o después simplemente lo vas acomodando. Mira cómo los voy acomodando usando esas dos burbujas, estos dos peñiscos de acá, rosados, me ayudan a tener como en cierta manera una, una idea, ¿no? De cómo hacerlo esto bien. Y, y voy hasta el otro peñisco rosado. Ya está. Eso es probablemente lo más difícil de este diseño. Pero una vez que lo haces, qué fácil. Todo va a ser una maravilla, ¿sabes? ¿Por qué? Porque también es lo chévere. Miren, ya usamos los globos blancos y los rosados. Al, otra vez, antes que me olvide, la misma idea acá. Este, estos dos burbujas de peñiscos blancos, vas a agarrar cualquiera de estas burbujas rosadas y les vas a hacer peñiscos juntos. Y así está todo asegurado y ahí puedes decir, ¡ah! ¡Lo máximo! ¡Me encanta este diseño! Y es más, puedes acomodar los dientecitos como mejor te parezca. ¿No? Como tú dices, ay, así son más bonitos, ay, así están cerquitos, ¿no? Y los conejitos, los de frente, bien chévere, bien bonito todo, chévere. Esta es la manera para mí que funciona bien para la dentadura. Ahora, esto está un poquito como que, miren, muy delgadito para acá, ¿no? Entonces vamos a darle un poquito de anchura, o sea, we're gonna now make this denture look a little bit no so skinny, it's we're gonna make it look a little bit normal. Now, we're gonna grab the last balloon, woohoo! The last balloon that is a five finger tail. Yeah, inflated. And you're gonna touch it into this pinch twist. You start any in the top, on the bottom, doesn't matter. But just start, right? And twist it down. And look at this little trick. You just make like a one finger bubble. One finger bubble, and then you're gonna make two pinch twists. Okay? And now, Pay attention to this part because this part is this. Look, we're gonna grab the balloon this and squish and stretch because we don't want that too thick and also we want to squish it, very squishy because this is what we're gonna play. We're gonna play with the force of pressure between bubbles. That makes sense? Yeah. So while you pull, you're gonna open, look, pull this pink, one of the pink twists that went on top and then pass that balloon. While you're passing around, you're also making some pulling. So that is, you know, force to pull everything back. Okay, and very squishable is gonna help. So now you make sure that it's going closer to the, there, the bubbles, pinch twist pin. And there you're gonna make, again, two pinch twists. And then one finger bubble to go back to the pinch twist finally. You see? So you have this two pinch twist, one finger bubble, and this is approximately four plus four plus two, like ten finger bubble. Very squishable ten finger bubble this way. Yes, there was a burbuja ahí en ese rojito de 1.60. Vamos a regresar a este peñito. Y miren esta parte. This is something awesome. Now, you can always open this, the bottom, because this is the bottom look. You open it a little bit and pull and try to squish it in between. That is gonna make the pressure to keep this denture pretty. Now, this is not mm, always skinny. It's like have a little bit cheeks with this pinch twist. Mm? It's a visual effect. <laughs> now, how we're gonna go up? I like the idea that up, look at this, um, forget about this little red bubble, but it's coming up from the pinch twist. We're gonna go a little bit in an angle, like this up. And it's gonna go to that pinch twist here, the red, 160. And we're gonna make the same, okay? Let's do that. So we're gonna measure approximately three finger bubble. And then we're gonna make two pinch twists. And then, this is a maybe tricky part, but I think you can do it. In case, you know, you're gonna measure again, go around, but remember, squeeze and stretch, squeeze and stretch. So 
right? It's getting tired here. So whatever I say, five finger tail, no, leave like probably seven finger tail. Siete dedos sin inflar de este globo uh, rojo uno celda. Para que tengas espacio para hacer el squish. squish. Okay. Now, from here, oh, this have to go on top. So you're going to calculate. Oh, wait, you know, there's not complicated. There's another way. Always another way. From here, two little pinch twists. We're going to make that one finger bubble. And we're going to put it right here, two pinch twists. Yeah, what I'm complicating myself. I'm like Cecilia, I'm on. And then we're going to go from here. We're going to go now to make interesting interesting well i already have here so now let's go to one finger bubble yeah two pinch twists yeah this is the way we're gonna make we're gonna do this and then you're gonna go down to three finger bubble yep three finger bubble that's kind of it's gonna be easier this is what we're doing okay three finger bubble two pinch twists one finger bubble Go to this two pinch twist pink, then one finger bubble there. You don't see it, but it's there. And then two pinch twists, and then three finger bubble go down. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Now, this is the thing. This is the, the thing. You cut this, and you have to be sincere. Do you gonna have enough to go around this place? I probably, but this is the thing now. Bummer, right? I prefer to use a second 160 only for that part. Yeah, sometimes I think that way, like, that way I have to complicate much myself, you know, and I have an idea. So, you have, I'm going to show you right now what you have so far. You have this. Now, let's grab a balloon scrap, but long enough, I have a balloon scrap here. I'm going to inflate it, red, 160. You don't need much air, Okay. Yes, at least that you have probably, what, for the 16 finger inflated, I think that's going to be good enough. You squish it and scare, and now you're going to touch it where? To the bottom now. You know, it doesn't matter what is the top of the bottom, but the part that you don't have the red here, the lips, <laughs> you're going to do it. Um, you're not going to attach it to this pinch twist. No, that's not a visual effect. You're going to attach it to the, bu to the pink bubble gum. That's what I meant to say. Okay, the pinch twist. You're going to attach it there. Oh, pass it there. And now when you are there, you are going to, uh, remember the lips are in the bottom. Oh, actually, from here you can go actually to the pinch twist. I'm sorry, sorry. So if you want to twist it here, you can, you know, make another one finger bubble. Yeah, why not? I'm sorry. I'm, uh, you know what, how now? I am sometimes I got so excited and happy because this is a cool design and then I forgot anything. But at the end I remember it. So I, I, <laughs> that's a cool part. So now yeah, so from here you touch it, if you touch it to this two pinch twist, then you go back with another one finger bubble into those pinch twists, right? And then look how I position it this. I'm going in the bottom, I squish, and now from here I'm going to the bottom of the pinch twist bubble and pink here and while I'm squishing and attaching things I'm kind of pulling so that's gonna give the pressure look I'm grabbing even the pink and then pressure and pull and then I gonna go to I think it's gonna be better to go to the bubble gum pink because that's gonna give it more pressure and then when you are there already you can have you know things accommodated there the way you prefer but um you can go back with a one finger bubble to the pinch twist. That way it's equal on both sides. Okay? Tell me in the comments, what do you think about this idea? This technique and, and this design. It's not often that someone is gonna ask you for denture, right? I make me a denture. But there is some special occasions like the teeth awareness or brushing your teeth awareness. That is a tooth fairy thing here in where I live. So probably you have that. Now it's time just to accommodate things and you just accommodate it this way. And always you can kind of twist the teeth any how you want, but this is the idea. And everything is done, I just squish and touch because I love to do that. But this is the denture, this is the idea. 
now you decide which size you want to be up and which size you want it to be down um but um this is what it is i hope you like it thank you so much for watching the videos thank you for your comments if you haven't subscribed yet do it because this channel is super awesome especially if you love balloons if you like balloons and you think balloons are awesome this is the best place where to learn and have fun with balloons because that's the idea of balloons the only purpose is to make people happy right and it's been working great for me so remember if you want to make the laughing part ha, 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 you make sure you grab the 260 pink on each side la, la. <laughs> uh, i hope you like it have a wonderful day and oh always don't forget if you want to collaborate with this channel check it out in the description in the description yes because there there is a amazon wish list where i found lots of cool stuff for balloon twisters so i would love to have one of those things if you can uh, collaborate that way great if it's not i have a bimo account i have a paypal account and if you don't have money that's okay look with your comments watching the videos um sharing the videos with other balloon twisters or with people you think they may like balloons uh that's is helping a lot too so have a wonderful day Bye -bye.